Right, so how did I go from lifting half of the stack at Camure Commercial Gym on their pec, seated pec fly, then four or five weeks later being able to stack it without actually training on that bit of kit? Well, what I did was I simply came into the garage, did flat bench pec fly heavier and heavier and then absolutely owned that piece of fixed resistance equipment and that's it so very rarely was i doing pec flies as part of my chest sessions in the gym or in the garage gym but i was in the commercial gym then actually what i found was the more i did them in the garage with dumbbells the stronger i became and really it's because that seated pec fly is very, very little weight working to gravity. You're just playing against the weight stack in a seated position where this exercise here, it's all about gravity and control. And as I said, I was doing about half the stack for 10 and finding that quite easy. Now, doing these in the garage and moving up, I absolutely boss that bit of kit. That's because, quite simply, as most of you already know, free uh, weights absolutely own resistance equipment. <laughs> wow. So that was set one, that was only 20 kg. So now we're gonna go up to 22 and a half. Right, so I was going to go 22 and a half, but I thought, let's not waste our time. So we're going straight up to 27 and a half kilos, flat bench flies. These are the types of exercises you need to be doing to own those resistance machines. <laughs> let's go. So that was 20 to 27 and a half. Now we take a couple of minutes rest. Or actually I might do a few hammer curls just to keep warmed up in this garage gym. Let's work the opposites. And then we're gonna go on to flying. I think I'm gonna step it up to 31 kg. Let's go. Okay, final set of this chest session this evening. Flies, 31 kilos. So we've got 20, then we went to 27 and a half. Did two sets on 27 and a half. And then this one to finish on 31. <sighs> These dumbbells have almost got fat grips on them as well. So blow up your forearm. Oh, let's go. <sighs> Nice, good. Right. Whew. 
Okay, so a lot of you know this already. Word to the wise, if you're starting out, absolutely. Go for those fixed weight machines. They'll allow you to, one, not come off with dongs, so delayed muscle soreness that you get with the movement and everything else that comes with dumbbells and barbells. So yeah, go with resistance. They'll get you used to lifting heavy weight under load, but as soon as you can, get onto those free weights. As I said, they're the absolute game changer. They work on your core. They bring in so many different joints, fixators. As I said, it's kind of like, when you're working with dumbbells, you're concentrating, your mind's always active. It's kind of like, right, gotta fly, keep these together, keep these together. You can stop at any point as well. And you can really feel, certainly on the flies, for example, like the load, the gravity all the way down. Whereas if you're on that seated machine, you're pushing this way, it's very much kind of force out as opposed to gravity moving down and absolutely hammering it like I was on that flat bench. So absolutely use fixed weight equipment. Absolutely use those uh, bits of kit in the gym. But as soon as you bloody well can, get on to free weights because that's where the gains are and that is where the strength is found, made and shown. Let's go.